Welcome to the 2023 Caravan of the Year Awards sponsored by MSA 4x4 Accessories. I'm sitting in the Electrics Caravan by Spinifex Caravans. It's an all electric van and it has loads of features. So I can't wait to take a look. Let's see what the other judges thought of it. So the Spinifex is a big girl, 2940 empty. We had no trouble with it. It's a pretty steep hill that's on our tow course and it had no trouble towing up there. It sat like a rock on the back of the Land Cruiser. Easy to tow, no hassles with the brakes coming down the hill. Very, very, very competent uh, vehicle and very, very competent towing ability with that, with that big Spinifex. The Spinifex arrived with electrics on the side and that was a dead giveaway that this van was likely to be gas free and it is and it carries a 51 volt system in it with a 14 kilowatt hour battery. And that is just ridiculous. This is the kind of van that you could not only power yourself almost indefinitely, but probably half the campground around you. It also has rotor molded tanks specifically designed to fit underneath the chassis of the Spinifex, which gives it quite a massive water capacity, which is probably as important, if not more so, than electrical power off grid. It's great being able to run the AC almost indefinitely off the solar and battery, but what if you're in a cold climate like Melbourne? Well, I've fitted a Truma Combi D6 hot water service and space heater, which will quickly heat the inside of the Spinifex up, so you'll always be comfortable no matter where you are. The Spinifex Electrics is a 19 foot, six inch couples off-road van. It has an electrical system that is uh, next level. A 5,000 watt inverter, and 1720 watts of solar mounted on the roof. So you can stay uh, off grid almost indefinitely. There's a terrific outdoor kitchen. The barbecue is an electric uh, Weber and it, the, the outdoor kitchen has an induction cooker. The interior of the Spinifex is completely customizable. So the options for layouts and fittings is uh, almost endless. With a price tag of nearly $210,000, the Spinifex Premier might seem to be an expensive van. The reality of course is it's got lots of extras fitted. Just to mention a few items, it's, it's fitted with disc brakes. It's a very heavy van, so that gives it extra stopping tower. This might seem an odd thing to mention, but there's a couple of external aerials. One is for the AM FM radio, and the other is for the phone system to improve the 4G connection. If you're out in the bush somewhere, I reckon that's a really good idea. In addition to that, there's a really simple addition to the grey water tank a flexible hose that actually hooks up when you're not being used but can be dropped down easily. Just makes emptying the grey tank so much easier rather than just filling around under the van. There's a couple of other areas I liked in this van. I guess there's a large bathroom which, which many people love and there's been a few places where traditionally where overhead lockers are fitted they've been excluded and they give just a, so much more of a space perception of the van. It looks really good. If you were to take a pub quiz for who makes the best vans in Australia, Spinifex is gonna be very near the top. They do not cut corners when it comes to the build construction of their vans. Now this one uses C-channel alloy frame, which is both glued and riveted, which will allow for a small amount of flex, which is important in a van. The sides are clad with a four millimeter one piece skin. Now that's important because with less joins, there's less need for maintenance and servicing of those joins. The Spinifex that was on display during Caravan of the Year this year was designed for the owner and built for the owner, so they have a lot of their personal touches in this van, right down to the matte black cabinet work, complemented by natural timber walls. There are no overhead cupboards at the bed end and at the bathroom end of this caravan, so it makes it feel quite spacious. One of the other standouts is the cooking situation inside. It has an induction cooker, but the oven is a 45 litre microwave and a griller on the top and bottom, and also an air fryer. So that's the first time that we've seen, I think, an air fryer in a caravan. So uh, the innovation continues to astound us this year at Caravan of the Year. There's plenty of storage. There's a really big pantry on the right hand side as you go into the van. The lounge is really comfortable, perfect amount of padding. The Spinifex is probably the van that everybody came to beat, I reckon, this year. And it just looks absolutely stunning inside. This is a van that, you know, you could travel long distances and feel really comfortable at the end of the day. What's the X factor in this van? I thought it was a really odd thing, but it's the way the solar panel system is wired up. 
They didn't use a, an RV system. They use what is you might find on a domestic house. The voltage runs at 360 volts, which the average handyman can't work on, but it improves the overall system of the solar panels and the battery charging system. Benefix build to order and know everybody personally who's ordered a caravan. Now why that matters is that personal relationship is where the customer care or after service starts. Now the team are dedicated to have a person full time there to answer calls and take questions on not only small issues which might arise but also how to use your spin effects. They really look after their customers. It's $210,000 and that's not the most expensive van here but it's an absolute stunning van inside. It's got huge off-road capability and a really impressive amount of AusX Corp power. It's certainly the van to beat and it's one of those vans that if you had the, the dollars, you'd probably go and buy one.